fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh off the hick family. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh off the hick family. FOTA check is what we're bringing to you. Crochet creations is what we do. We do single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, a crochet just about every day. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hick. Fresh off the hick family. Say hello, Daisy. Look, who's this? Say hello, everybody. Look, say hello. Look at the camera. Say hello. Show everybody your hat. This is the primrose hat that I made and the designer is Janet Taylor and it's Daisy modelling it today. Her mummy worked night shift and Daisy's not very well today. She's got a cold so I said that I would watch her today. And it's my pleasure. How adorable is she? Even though she has got a cold. So I thought I would show you Daisy modelling her hat. I will put a photograph up of the hat after as well. So. This is Daisy and I'll pop back on um, after to show you the other things that I've made. So Daisy wave, say bye bye, say bye bye, say bye bye, look, who's this? Say bye bye. It's been a little while since I've posted um, I had a little holiday over Easter, I visited my mum um, down in England. so. I've just sort of got back into it and I've been working on a customer order um, lots of animal hats which have taken me quite a long time a lot longer than I expected but I've had fun making them and I've been enjoying following patterns um, I hope you liked the little hat that I made Daisy there what she was modelling it is from um, a pattern by Janet Taylor of www stitchykits.co.uk it's an easy pattern to follow Janet's got some lovely designs and it's definitely worth a look I'll put the link below to Janet's website and um, go and check it out there's some lovely hat patterns on there and the patterns are so easy to follow and they're a pleasure to make so I really really enjoyed making that one um, this is another hat that I've made the girly dinosaur hat, um, the design and sort of pattern I made up all myself, apart from the actual base of the hat, which is from TJW1963. It's a puff stitch ear flap hat, which is the body of the hat, the rest, like the towel and the head and the spikes and everything like that. And this little um, love heart I've got off of a blog called Skip to My Lou. I'll put the link below. I've done a heart garland before using. Um, that pattern so I'll put the link below for these little love hearts they're quite nice to add on to different things um, there's another one now I've done that slightly bigger um, this little embellishment is on a bobby pin so the little girl can take that off if she wishes and wear it in her hair or she can leave it on the, on the hat if she wants to so that's that it's a hot pink and it's purple it's not really showing up the colours very well and it's got ties there at the bottom and this is the back, so you can see it's got an eye on both sides. I love this design, I think it's so cute. So I've been making these hats sort of for a couple of years now, these dinosaur hats. I just like the way that, you know, it sort of goes right over their, their head. It looks like that Triceratops, I think it's called. Well, I think so anyway. I'm not an expert on dinosaurs, but I think that's what it is. So I just like that one. So that's a girly one now. You can't really see the colours very well, unfortunately. But it's really good. I love it. And the other hat that I've made is from a pattern. And I absolutely adore this hat. It's a giraffe. And the pattern is from Speckled Frog Crochet. It was an Etsy. No, I didn't actually. I bought it off of a website. I bought it off the lady's website. Um, I will put the link below for her website. It's from www speckled frog crochet um that's it there it's called slumber slumber giraffe and this is my version and i love it um this the the yarn used for this was actually from 
Cheryl, um, who was my swap partner, it's Burnett, so it's been made with Burnett, I'm now quite pleased with that. <laughs> so, I think mine's come out so cute, I love it. And this is the first time that I've made anything sort of stuffed, and it's, it's by a sort of certified CE, certified polyester, so. And it's got a pom-pom on the top there to make the hair, and I've put little buttons on which we recycled from a top that I, I had, which is my daughter's. And I've done sort of braids at the bottom, and I love the texture of this hat. And it comes in different sizes as well. It comes in six to twelve months, newborn to six months, twelve months to three years, and three to ten years. So it's a really well written pattern. I enjoyed following this one so much that I made the body of this elephant hat using the same pattern for the body and the ears I just made up myself using um, I think it was half double crochet and I just made two circles there and just sort of folded them and stitched them together and done the same for the sort of center and I've done the trunk and can you see that I've got like a little apple button and the elephants eating an apple I thought it would be quite cute to do something a bit different, not seen any like that before. And I just crocheted the eyes on and I've got a little bow at the top there. Embellishment and some hair. I like the way that this one's come out. It's cute. So, And then the other hat that I've made is a zebra hat. And the pattern is from... Emmy Grace Creations and you can find her on Etsy and let me just take this hat off here so I can use my mannequin just bear with me and the pick it <laughs> this is for a little girl so I use sort of fun fur for their hair I like the way that this pattern's come out So I've put Fun Fair, Fun, fun Fair. It was by Seed Cider, Cider. Oh. And then it's got a little embellishment there. And yeah, so that's the way that that came out. I like that. I feel like I've got like a little zoo going on here with the giraffe and the dinosaur and, and the elephant. I feel like I've got. So I feel like I should be singing, we're going to the zoo, 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 do you want to come to, to, to? Yeah, but anyway, um, the other thing that I've made, and I've not actually finished it yet, but it's got handles, so I wonder what that could be. So that's the handles there, and it's going to be a disco diva bag or a party bag. And I found Sparkly on it's by um, Brand Warcraft and it's called Diamonds, so you can get that over here in the UK. And so that's that. And I got this pattern off of um, a blog and it was called Best Pattern, so I'll put the link below. And I'm going to line it, and this is what I'm going to line it with this little number here, which was a 90. But yeah, it's hot pink and it's got the sort of black zebra print on it. So I think that would be really cool as a lining in there. You can see. Hang on a minute. So that would be the lining. I think the two go quite well together. It's not really showing out the colour very well. It's hot pink. So yeah, I think that would be nice as a lining. I've just got to get around to sort of cutting it and getting the sewing machine out and putting that on so that'd be fun and I'll probably make um, a sort of flower silk flower wrap to embellishment to put on it just to make it look a bit I don't know a bit more glamorous or something and dress it up a bit and also I've got some um, exciting news my mum is also joining fresh off the hook I'm gonna try and put a video on this one so that um, we can both be together because as a lot of you know we sort of live 500 miles away so it'd be nice if we could be together on our fresh off the hook so this is the only way that I could think of us um, doing it and um, 
yeah, it should be good. So I'll put her on after I've sort of finished doing my bit. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, there's a giveaway with the Fresh Off The Hook family are holding a giveaway. So we will be making something really, really nice for you. And there will be two winners. So all you have to do to enter is follow the link below for our Fresh Off The Hook family Facebook book community group. Um, go on there and like the page and comment fresh off the hook rocks and put your favourite colours on there and also if you could leave a comment below and also state fresh off the hook rocks and put your favourite colours below that will give you two entries or if you haven't got Facebook don't worry you can still comment below because we know some people have got a Facebook and they haven't got a YouTube account or vice versa so that gives them um, everybody a good chance of entering so that's going to be exciting so please do um, comment if you would like to enter the Fresh Off The Hook family giveaway it's going to be really good and it's definitely worth entering so that would be really good and the other thing um, that I wanted to mention is to my fellow crocheters is the lovely crow is doing a giveaway um, I'll put the link below for her um, website where she's announced the giveaway this is one of the sort of free patterns that she's given away so all the details are on her website of how to enter so definitely that's um, worth entering and she's also given away like a hat pattern as well and she's given away sort of money vouchers or gift card vouchers so that's worth a look so go on to the lovely crow I think it's the a blog that she's got um, it's Elizabeth Allen the crochet designer for the lovely crow and um, I'll put the link below so definitely everyone that sort of can crochet and is interested in um, freebie patterns go on to there and check out her details she's celebrating um, 10,000 fans on her Facebook page which is absolutely amazing so uh, her designs are lovely the colours that she uses are really nice so it's definitely worth a look on there so I just wanted to mention that here um, but yeah thank you for watching I appreciate it sorry for being away for so long um, I've just been so busy I don't know I've had my Easter holidays and then I've been busy working on these hats and I don't know I've found that I've been taking my time crocheting which ain't a bad thing but it's taken me ages to get through orders um so sorry about that but I love what I've made anyway it's come out really nice and I don't really rush anything um which ain't a bad thing I suppose um but yeah I just wanted to say thank you all for watching it's I appreciate all your comments please like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed i'm amazed how many subscribers that i've got actually so yes i love um showing my crochet creations with you um so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you soon and i'll leave you with my mum bye Hello everyone, this is um, Kay, I'm Hayley's hat's mum and um, 
I decided to join the family. Please ignore my dodgy voice. I'm getting over an operation for cancer of my throat. So, uh, unfortunately, that's a damaged me vocal cord. So that's why my voice goes and then it comes back again. So, this is my, um, some of my latest creations. This was a, a big blanket that I made a show. Really, it's like a christening show. And um, this is made over like four rows really and um try and show you the first row you go and you make like a chain and then the next row you go back and do um i'll call them trebles but you you call them double crochet don't you and i'm just coming to terms with the terminology different crocheting terminology so please excuse me if i get it a bit wrong and i put a nice border on it like a deep border uh, it's, this is on my Etsy, so if anyone would like it, um, it's listed there, and I'll, I'll give you the link. So it's a great big christening show. And the other thing that I made was this little cardigan. Um, it's tiny. Shall I try and show you? It's about the the width of my hand. It's newborn, and. Um, it just about fits my reborn doll and it's in fine cotton which is this cotton and it's about a I'd say it was about three ply although on the um, label it does say four ply but it's really thin and um, this is the bottom of the booty that I've done so far which I've undone about 30 times and redone again. And um, this is my second little bit that I've done. This is the pattern. It's called Cheryl's Crochet. And I think it's www.cherylscrochet.com. And that's a little suit that I'm making, a little dress and cut um, booties, etc. But I must say, it is the hardest pattern that I've ever read. It's really difficult. I don't know if it's because the terminology between American and English, I haven't quite got it right, but even when I translate it, it doesn't read right. And Haley, who, who does read American crochet very well, she's even sort of said, you know, it's quite difficult to understand. So maybe I just need to keep reading it. I don't know. Anyway, they're, they're my little makes for now. Um, sorry it's such a short video, but my voice goes after a while, so I have to cut it short. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye for now.